What's up, Sleepy Luck? It's your boy, DY Gamer. And I'm back, yes, back with some more Pokemon Sword and Shield Sword version. And the last time we were playing, we found the legendary Pokemon. And, uh. Saved Galar. I am my Pokedex. Uh, Zekrom, uh, Zashin, I don't know what to say, Zashin, and Zamazenta. Fighting Steel, Fairy Steel. It's gonna be an annoying fight. This is fairy and Steel. I'm just gonna move a quick ball in. Mm. And today we finally beat Leon. I suppose champion of the Gallery region. Now, I've been going through two names for this episode. The Heroes Champion, because the heroes of Galar are me and Hop. And Leon is our champion. Or the Hero Champion. Because I am a hero and I will become the champion. So I don't know which one I'm going to go with. It's either going to be the hero's champion. Which is, you know, reference to Leon being the champion of us, the heroes. Until he loses and then becomes replaced. But he will always have a special place. In the heart of Galar and us, the heroes. I like how their shit never changes. Just the lack of attention to detail from Game Freak. I love it. is the champion. I wish I could stall this out. My matches are always sold out, but this, I've never seen a crowd this wild. 
Everyone knows what you did for us this week, D. You know you're the one who called Eternus. Eternatus. Eternatus, whatever. And saved the future of the Galar region. A real hero who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zashian and Zamzinta. Zamazinta! <coughs> I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now I've seen just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers. Crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come, D. Let's make this a final match that will go down in Galar's history. No, a match that will change Galar forever! We're going to have an absolutely champion time. I think I say champion at the end of everything, dog. It's a champion's battle, a champion throw, a champion catch, a champion's time. Yep, just like his brother. You are challenged. That's a good Pokemon right there. It's an annoying Pokemon too. Steel Ghost? Super effective. Mm, psychic. Sounds like it's metal. Oh. I don't know. It sounds like it's metal. I was right, it's a goddamn axe. And then less from your team. Flash of Toad. Yeah. Sounds like it's ground type. <laughs> no, wait, my bad. It's a grass type. Obviously, it's a toad. Dragapults. Dragapults. Ah. Hmm. Hexers. Let's go, Hilco. Not bad. A few dragon types. At least three dragon types would even include Charizard. I mean, yeah, 
don't disagree. Eh, yeah, fuck it, French. You try to paralyze. Cinder is fire or fire electric? Hydro pump it to below. It's going to be void. But you know what? Keep my dragon. If you're sure you can really do it, it's Gigantamax time! Too hot, Char. I'm still used to chill you out. Hmm. Yeah, that sounds fun. That's perfect. Cool. Down next. You know what? I will. Just to show respect. Just to show respect. Just killed yourself. Okay. I think 
finish off with a real dragon move or once again just wash it away or should I snuff the flame in darkness yeah fuck it let's just wash them away Unfortunate, which made the wrong decision. That I made the right one. There is no light, only darkness. Yeah, crunch would have been the best choice. I should have went with crunch. See crunch out to where the rocks and ground should have had no effect. My time as champion is over. Well, what a champion time it's been. How fitting. It's raining. When one of the greatest champions the region's ever seen has fallen. As if the heavens themselves weep at this loss. Truly. Leon is one of the best or better champions. He's right up there with the. Blind, black used dragons. Not Lance. Lance was red. The one that people always complain they had trouble with. Cynthia. Not as hard as Cynthia, but like memorable. I could also see BD and um, Marnie getting together. Pokemon Sword. Man. Huh. Look at my Pokemon. It's so fucking funny that I have all four of those Pokemon. I had a real boom. I had toxic toxicity. I had obstadoom. Obstadoom is one of the best Pokemon I've ever had. It's so fucking fun. The gamble, sleep, fucking sleep talk. <clears throat> See what happens. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It took me two years to beat it. 
because for like a year I got distracted by real life. This honestly is one of the best Pokemon games I've played in a minute. And I don't I don't think anyone would disagree that story-wise, this has one of the better stories in a Pokemon game. Alright. It just does. And the dialogue, the pacing, all that was fucking good. Alright. The only game that I feel like did better than this, all right, was Sun and Moon. St like I'm talking about story, Sun and Moon. X and Y in terms of the weapon of destruction. Everything about King X or Z, all that shit, fucking fantastic. The Team Flare shit would tart it, but the, the story about the Ancient King, fucking fantastic. What's another one? I'm gonna say Diamond and Pearl, because let's just face it. Team Plasma and Cynthia, so many just great characters in Diamond and Pearl. And then Black and White and Black and White 2. Those are the Pokemon games that have the best story. Not gameplay, not mechanics, not Pokemon, just story. All right, X, Y, Sun and Moon, specifically because they focused on the story. All right, let's, let, like, let's be real. They didn't start focusing on the story of Pokemon till Diamond and Pearl. All right. They just didn't. So story-wise, great story. Villain-wise, I'm not going to lie to you. I feel like they were lackluster. Chairman Rose, Olina, Macrocosmo, Very underwhelming, all right. I never actually felt like they were a threat to me because they weren't. That's how we get the Master Ball. I just, I really don't like Chairman Rose as a villain. Alright, to me, what this screamed, Chairman Rose's whole story. Really did scream there was some Pokemon in the back. Or some other organization in the back pulling the strings. Because, like, the niggas sounded... Not just him, Olina. Both the niggas sounded, looked, and seemed hypnotized. Like, for real, for real. Like I said, I wouldn't be surprised if Malamar 
was using its psychic shit to control Rose. To make it do this, to try and destroy the world. That's just how it felt. And yes, I'm not going to sit there and act like you no, know, the build up wasn't there. Obviously, the build up was there, alright, from. From BD collecting stars to the little. to BD destroying the wall. To reveal the heroes and all that shit. All great. But, like, let me just be brutally honest. There was no enemy team in this series. Alright? You know who the antagonist team was? Team Yale. A bunch of fanboys. Of Marnie. Marnie was more of an antagonist to us. Than Rose or Olina ever were. And the difference is, is Marnie didn't do shit to us. While Professor Rose and Alina lied to our faces. That should never be the case. Alright. First off, that is the prime example of a good rival. However, if your rival outshadows the big bad, that is a horrible big bad. Period. The thing about silver and silver and gold is that silver was still not as much of a threat. As Giovanni and Team Rocket. Hell, he wasn't even as much as a threat as Team Rocket without Giovanni. Alright. However, they were comparable. In this case, Marnie. was a more was, was a bigger threat to us than Rose ever was and that's just sad it's not even Marnie it's really her fans which is just sad which on one side it goes to show how safe Galar region is and how good of a champion Leon is that there is no real evil team trying to take over or destroy the world all right because as good as a fucking as good as a champion all right I forgot her name already season since since Cynthia Cynthia as good as a leader she was champion all right team plasma was devastating to Yanova like for real for real devastating So again, that's why I give props to Leon. Like he, he was obviously a good champion. But it's just, it's crazy to me. Just how little of a role the chairman actually played in the game. It, it's just, it's, it's sad. Because he does not feel like the villain. He feels like he was being used by somebody. There should be some big bag in the background 
that we now have to face. And that's 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 definitely a downside. Because like let's be brutally honest. Are we gonna remember Rose? In like two, three Pokemon generations from now? No, we're gonna remember Team Yale. Who has nothing to do with Rose? Who's the leader of Team Yale? Marnie and Pierce. So, the, the villain was completely overshadowed, right? And then, <sighs> Eternita, or whatever the fuck it's called. go this route I wish they went a more Mewtwo route or like the Aether Foundation I feel like the Aether like that's what I think it is the Aether Foundation and their Ultra Beast and all of that shit Numinous Luminous whatever the fuck her name was fusing with Lily whatever the fuck that Pokemon was called that was done so much better than this that it's really sad. Right? What it should have been, what it should have done, what it should have been. Well, just like how you helped the Aether Foundation study and look into into Ultra Rifts and Ultra Pokemon or Ultra whatever the fuck they were called. Ultra Beast. You should have you should have been helping BD and the chairman collect star fragments. Wishing stars. You should have been bringing them to the lab. Talking to people in the lab. Building a bond with Macrocosmo. So that when this happened and you realized you were being betrayed and used. Because like in Sun and Moon, it felt like the Aether Foundation was really helping you. You know, you were dealing with Team Skull. You were getting information about the fucking Ultra Beast from the Aether Foundation. You were getting help to research all that shit. Right? There was none of that in this. There was no buildup. And you know what? Speaking of X and Y, that's the best thing to compare it to. This feels like a watered down version of the Aether Foundation. Just like Team Flare is a watered down version of, what was it, Team Galaxy? Team Galactic. And that's that should